All right, going to show you proof that the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church, rules over the kings of the earth and completely controls America. Contrary to what some people will say, uh, whether it be the New Agers or the Freemasons, they'll say, you know, the New Agers control it or the Freemasons control it. The Freemasons are submissive to Rome. Uh, the New Ages are submissive to Rome. All roads lead to Rome. But Revelation 17, 18, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, Vatican City, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Revelation 17, 18. And you go. You can go up to verse one, verse one and two at the beginning of the chapter. Uh, you can talk. Uh, verse two talks about how, with whom the kings of the earth hath committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth hath have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Uh, the the Vatican mystery Babylon rules over the kings of the earth. I'm going to show you that. Here's a Wikipedia article about Roman Catholic control of this will be Roman Catholics in political power and in, 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 uh, Rome, in the, the Knights of Columbus in positions of gov governmental positions, I'll put it that way. Uh, judicial branch, Samuel Al Alteo, uh, Associate Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, Timothy T. Cronin, U.S. Attorney of Eastern District of Wisconsin, and this is on Wikipedia, I'll link it in the description, uh, and I'm showing this because it just proof that the Roman Catholic Church, it completely controls America. And I'm going to show you that they completely control the Republican Party as well. The Republicans are totally controlled by the Jesuits and the Knights of Columbus. Kevin Patrick Yeary, judge of the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, uh, chief judge of the um, United States Supreme Court. I can never say this state name. Massachusetts. 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 Ah, I can never say that name properly. It's, it's weird. I can never say it. It's annoying. Uh, judge to uh, Peter J. Phipps, judge of the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. You go down here, executive branch. You know, you got former Secretary, Secretary of Labor Martin Patrick Duncan Durkin. Uh, you got John F. Kennedy, 35th President of the United States. You know, former U.S. Ambassador, former U.S. Secretary of Transportation, and former Governor of Massachusetts. Massachusetts, whatever. Uh, legislative branch. I can never say the state name. Uh, you got former House Majority Leader Hale Boggs, uh, John Dingle, funny name. United States Democratic Representative from Michigan. Uh, here's one you got. One thing I want to point out: Bob Dornan, pro-life advocate, actor, and former California Republican Congressman. You gotta watch out for the pro-life movement. I used to be promote the uh, whole pro-life movement. It's completely run by Roman Catholics. I mean, you go to the March for Life. I mean, you, like you'll barely, you, you, like you'll never see, or like you barely see any non-Catholics. I mean, it's mostly just Roman Catholics with their pagan rosaries and all that stuff. Now, the the cause they're fighting for is a good cause. Obviously, abortion is evil. I'm not, you know, trying to defend abortion. Abortion is just just witchcraft repackaged. Um, but I'm not going to ally with Roman Catholic Satanists to fight abortion. Okay, you fight abortion by by prayer and by by preaching the word of God. You know, and, and by the way, the, um, there's no point in trying to fight abortion because both Republicans and Democrats don't care about abortion. Uh, the Republicans will say, "Oh, we're we're the pro-life party." No, they're not. When they controlled the House and the Senate, they they did nothing to stop abortion. Absolutely nothing. I mean, if they're if they're if they're as pro-life as they claim, how come when they controlled both House and Senate, they, they I mean, they could have passed so many anti-abortion laws. They could have passed so many laws against abortion, and they didn't. You know, they, they did nothing. So, it's ridiculous. Um, you got uh, Bernard D. J. Dwyer, former U.S. representative from New Jersey, a United States Republican congressman, U.S. Republican congressman, U.S. Republican congressman. Look at all that. U.S. Rep Republican congressman. The Republicans are totally controlled by the Catholics. U.S. Republican congressman from Illinois, U.S. Republic United States Republican congressman from Louisiana, United States senator, United States representative from West Virginia. United States Republican representative from Maine. Look at all that. Uh, Republican congressman from Indiana. You know, there. State governments. So you got governors, people who run the states. Terry Branst Branstad, uh, Republican. Again, Republicans are controlled by the Vatican. Governor of Iowa. You got Jed Bush, former governor of Florida. Republican, by the way. Uh, Felix per Perez Champo. Whatever. Can't, I have a hard time pronouncing these names. Uh, governor of Guam. You got former Democratic governor. You see a lot of Democrats here too, because again, Democrats and Republicans—they're both just controlled by the by the Vatican. Either one of them is—if is, if you, you you vote either one of them, they're both bound to the Pope. That's the thing. Uh, 
Thomas Donovan, Lieutenant Governor of Illinois, 1933 to 37. So there, the Catholics were, get, were getting into positions of power all the way back then, back in, ever since 1933. Uh, you got uh, United States Senator and former Republican Governor Mike Rounds, former Democratic Governor of New York, you know, again Democrat, uh, J. Vile Vernet, Verrett, Lieutenant Governor of Louisiana, 1944 to 1948. Uh, John Bell Edwards, a governor of Louisiana. I mean, governors, people who run states. Pretty high position. State legislators, you know, you got, uh, remember the Missouri House of Representatives. You got one uh, member of the Pennsylvania Senate, representative from Mas Massachusetts. Uh, never mind. Can I, again, I can never say that name for some reason. Uh, member of both houses and state and Texas legislator, Carlos Tr Tron, Tron, whatever. Again, not good at saying these names. Member of both houses, uh, houses of Missouri, uh, state legislator from Je Jefferson City, Carl M. Vogel, there, whatever. I'm not going to bother reading the names. You got a member of the Louisiana House of Representatives, and you got he's part of St. Martin Parishes from 1972 to 96. Member of the member of the Louisiana House of Representatives. I mean, look at all these positions of of government. My cat just walked in. He got Wisconsin. Uh, look at all these state assembly people who are part of the Wisconsin. It's ridiculous. Wisconsin is just totally run by the Jesuits and the Vatican and Knights of Columbus. And you got local governments too. You got uh, Richard J. Daly, second longest serving mayor of Chicago, ma former mayor of Chicago, mayor of Chicago, former mayor, former mayor, mayor of San Francisco, 1964 to 68. Even the mayors are, are being controlled by the Jesuits. You got uh, a public service chairman of the Democratic National Committee, political activist, Kansas City political boss, even even down to the lowest you know local government like local counties or cities, even they're controlled by the Catholic Church. Again, they rule over the kings of the earth. They are they completely control America, both both Republicans and Democrats. It's ridiculous. So I just want to show you guys that this is proof that the Roman Catholic Church. And, and this is with other nations, too. Not just America. This is with other nations, too. Just totally controlled by the Vatican. Uh, the Pope can go anywhere in the world, and people will bow to him. That's, that's how much power they have. And when, it get, when, it, when the time of Jacob trouble comes, they're going to be... They're going to have... It's going to be like a dark age all over again, pretty much. So, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is a pagan cult. It is not uh, Christianity. It is a corruption of Christianity. It is, all it is is just Roman paganism repackaged. So... Don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.